The African wild dog is considered to be Africa's most efficient and successful hunter. With a population of only around 6,500 individuals, or 660 packs, it is also Southern Africa's most rare large carnivore. However, organizations like the African Wildlife Conservation Fund, AWCF, are on a mission to guarantee the survival of this inspiring species. Through their efforts, these dogs, once verging on the brink of local extinction, are making a comeback. The wild dog conservation efforts in the Save Valley Conservancy began in 1996 as the Low Felt Wild Dog Project, monitoring just 36 wild dogs. This work eventually led to the formation of the AWCF, and their presence to date has enhanced the protection of the species, and the population has increased to over 130 dogs, making it one of the highest densities in the world. Their work has expanded to include the conservation of other large predators throughout the region due to this success. Dr. Rosemary Groom and Jess Watermeyer head up operations in the Save Valley. With a crew of dedicated scouts specializing in the art of tracking. Together, they form the team responsible for the protection and survival of wild dogs in the Save Valley. The African Wildlife Conservation Fund was established in 2005. Um, it's a registered NGO in the United States and a registered trust in Zimbabwe. And it was set up with the prime purpose of large carnivore conservation in southern Zimbabwe. We focus specifically on the African wild dog, um, but we do run programs that monitor the conservation status of all the large carnivores. The African Wildlife Conservation Fund uh, works exclusively in the Zimbabwean part of the Great Limpopo Transfrontier Conservation Area. Um, the key study areas are the Savi Valley Conservancy, a privately owned wildlife conservancy, and the Gonorizo National Park. But we do incorporate uh, the other regions in the Zim Low Felt, and we work with South Africa and Mozambique as part of the bigger picture of the GLTFCA as a whole. We do management-driven research, so research that is focusing specifically on trying to make or aid the best management decisions. Um, what we call active hands-on conservation, which is things like taking snares off wild dogs, removing wire snares from the field, rabies vaccination campaigns with the domestic dog population to stop the disease spreading. Um, we also have a very large-scale and long-term environmental education programme with 123 primary schools in the communities neighbouring Salvi Valley and Gonorizo National Park. Um, and as well as that, we work with communities on a sort of community engagement programme. With wide-ranging large carnivores, like African wild dogs, cheetah as well, um, there's limited point in, in trying to only conserve them inside protected areas. They often range beyond the boundaries. And as such, engaging with the communities and trying to educate the next generation to successfully coexist with and tolerate and, and even benefit from these large carnivores is absolutely vital. We can go and take off snares and we can do our bit, but all we're doing is sticking a plaster on the wound and actually what we need to be doing is trying to tackle the source of the problem, which is often outside the protected areas in the communities who are poaching, who are um, persecuting these carnivores. So the African Wildlife Conservation Fund has a very strong education and community engagement program, which is in itself very multifaceted. Uh, we started off with a conservation awareness program, um, putting conservation materials into schools to teach children specifically about wild dogs and other carnivores. We run a secondary school scholarship program, taking uh, students from some of our most engaging primary schools um, and putting them through secondary school in the hope that they will become ambassadors for, for their communities, for large car carnivores. We run field trips with them, we run leadership training courses with them, so that ho hopefully, ultimately, they are at least part of the future of large carnival conservation in this area because we need that local capacity.